What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don's Reacts back with another video. Today we have the small forward version of the tier list of every starter from the 2020-2021 season. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, roll to 200 subscribers. I recorded this once. <laughs> well, I did this once, but the problem is I didn't record it. So today, I'm gonna make sure I get it right this time. I have to add a I had to reset it so I'm gonna add a, a tier below because because Jonathan Isaac was on this list and you know he didn't really play this year so I'm gonna add a section called and a not applicable applicable ah whatever the word is y'all know what I'm talking about but let's get right into it let's first we have Anthony Edwards he had an average year. He may he may snatch rookie of the year because they may say LaMelo didn't play enough. And even if LaMelo wins it, Anthony Edwards is rightfully the runner up for for a uh, rookie of the year. So Anthony Edwards, he had a pretty average year. Nothing too crazy, but he did I think he had a pretty good year. Next up, we have Andrew Wiggins. Probably this probably been one of his best years of his career so far. Andrew Wiggins, he proven to people that he's not a bust. Cause I I was never I never subscribed to that notion that he was a bust. Cause I felt like people I'm, I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna say it again to the end of time. People had unrealistic expectations for that man. Next up, we have Bojan. He goes. I'm gonna put him in the good tier. Well, no, nah, he actually goes in the average tier, too. Let me put him in the average tier, too. All right, he's a good third option for the Jazz on the offensive end. And the Jazz has been kind of going, doing pretty well this year. Next, we have Brandon Ingram. Going to put him in the all-star tier. I got to clear this up. Just because, for me, when I, say, when I put a player in the all-star tier, well, and the superstar. Well, first I'm gonna do, explain superstar. When I put a player in the superstar tier, that just means that they are superstar player at that position. I'm not calling like, er, like I'm not calling Devin Booker a superstar. I'm not. Call, I'm just saying for that position, they are a superstar caliber player. Same thing with All Star. Just because they didn't make it to the All Star game, like I'm gonna put those borderline All Star players, the snubs like DeRozan. He's gonna go in the all-star tier. Even though he didn't make the all-star game this year. Next we have Denny Adia. He's below average to me. He uh, people were saying he was the steal. He was the steal of the draft, is what a lot of people were saying. But I guess the unrealistic expectations for him because come because a lot of these foreign like when you make a top 20 list in the early the mid 2000s maybe even early 2010s. When you make a top 20 list, maybe only one or two of those players are overseas players. And now when you make a top 20 list, I would say a good half of them are foreign players. So usually, so now when a foreign player come up, come over to the league, they got high expectations on them. And I think that's why people were so high on Denny. And so we have DeRozan. He goes in the all-star tier. Probably the biggest snub of the 2020-2021 season when whoever Mike Conley replaced in the All-Star game, I was like, DeRozan should have grabbed that spot over him. But that's just me. And I think they gave Mike Conley the spot over him because the Jazz had the best record in the league at the time. Next up, we have Danny Green. I'm going to put him in that. Lakers fan, the Lakers in, you want to put him in the trash, but I'm going to put him in the average. I mean, below average. My bad. It's funny because whenever Danny Green has a good game, Lakers Twitter go crazy. Or like Sixers fans are at Lakers fans and be like, oh, he he not that bad after all. It did when he have a bad game. Yeah, I was right about him. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Next up we have DeAndre Hunter. I'm gonna put him in the good tier. He's one of my favorite up and coming small forwards in the league he brings a lot to the hawks both on the offensive and defensive end 
I, I think, in my opinion, he's the second best player behind Trey Young on the Hawks. Some would argue John Collins is the second best, but I feel like it's Trey, then Hunter, then Collins. That's 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 the that's how I like it at least. He's a good player on both ends. So Hollis Jefferson, I'm, I think, yeah, I think that's Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He's not, he's not really all that good. Let's be honest. Gordon Hayward, I want to put him up here because he had a, a a great season. But I'm gonna put him down here because injuries kind of injuries kind of did it for me just a, with him just a little bit. I know injuries are out of his control, but like. I can't put him in that all-star tier of players when he didn't really play enough games, you know? Next, we have... Low-key, I kind of want to put Denny in... Yeah, I'm going to keep him in. Harrison Barnes, he's also average. Not too much to say on him. Another person that was supposed to be a steal of the draft. Isaac Okoro, he 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 shows he comes to me as below average as well. Let me just go ahead and put Jonathan Isaac in the NA. He didn't really play that much. Jimmy Butler, he was an actual All Star, so we're gonna put him at the top of the All Star. And so was Jalen Brown. We're gonna put DeRozan because he was the biggest snub of the All Star. Ingram didn't make it either, I don't believe. So we're gonna put him right there. I don't know, dude. Rockets roster. Rockets roster. Cause I really don't know who this is. Um, Houston Rockets. I, I should know this, cause this is my second time trying to do this video. So that's not Kevin Porter. Oh, Jashon, Jashon Tate. Put him in average. Kyle Anderson, slow mo. I think he goes in average too. I remember seeing somebody say on locker room that Kyle, when Luca got drafted, they 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 thought he was gonna be the next Kyle Anderson. Tough. First superstar of the video, KD. He he's actually a superstar in the league. Arguably one of the greatest scores of all time some would say Jordan it's, it's, it's personal preference really next we have Kawhi another superstar player some will argue he's not a superstar because he's not vocal enough I'm like I, I never got that argument because he he's a superstar type of player on the court so that's all that should matter next we have Chris Middleton I think he was an all-star too so we're gonna put him in the at the top of the all-star tier. Next we have LeBron. People trying to say that this player took his throne for the best player in the league. That player. I think he's just... I, I can't say that just yet because I think we all know he most of it was injuries with him this year. Like most of... I, until I see a, a actual decline in his game, still the best player in the league I would say next we have Lou Dort gonna put him in the average OKC fans are really high on him I know why he's a great defensive player I understand y'all y'all really like your boy he's and I don't really blame y'all next we have Mikael Bridges I'm gonna put him in the good tier okay I'm starting to put too many people in the average tier because I feel like he's better than everybody in that average tier Mikael Bridges, a hooper. Uh, why, why is he? Why? I gotta look up the Raptors roster. He, he, my mind's gone blank on him too. Toronto Raptors roster. Not Gary Trent. Oh my goodness, OG. Getting OG? Oh, the Bulls. I haven't really watched many Bulls games this year, so I'm not even going to pretend like I have. So I'm just throwing them up there. Reggie Bullock. Trash. Trash. 
Tim Hardaway Jr. In the playoffs, in the beginning of that series, he was balling like Tim Hardaway Sr. But, <laughs> but like, he proved that he's he's number two to Luka, but they need a better number two to Luka. He, and he proved that it's, he's not the extra in that Porzingis trade. He proved... He proved to us that it's the, it, it was the Tim Hardaway trade and Porzingis was the extra. Y'all see Porzingis disgruntled anyway? I'm like, bro, I guess he's jealous of the spotlight that Luka gets or something like that. They were saying, Tim, I mean, not Tim, TJ Warren, average. People thought he was, he was great in the bubble. I told you he was. He, he was good, but, but don't expect that on a normal basis. Now, lastly, we got Will Barton. You put him in the below average. This is my official list of small forwards for the 2020-2021 season. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Power forwards should be coming this weekend. And we out. Peace.